happen on social media as soon as I can. But people often accuse me of sitting in the comfort of England and, you know, and, and being able to speak. Most of you have been asking series of questions and I owe you answers. The first question most people have been asking on the comment section is where is Marvelous Kelechi Acha for? Everybody's been asking where it's Marvelous. First and foremost, Marvelous is well and healthy. <laughs> Welcome to Breaking News Valhalla. I know it's been a while. We had Q Turk and we had news on Breaking News Valhalla. I haven't been feeling fine for a while now, but kudos. I'm back. So, as usual, I'm just going to give us an update on how we're going to be moving forward from now from august to the remaining end of the year uh first and foremost i want to bless god for life and i want to bless god for you guys it hasn't been easy from the start of this month to august can you imagine we are we are in august ah hallelujah so basically starting from now um most of you have been asking series of questions and i owe you answers the first question most people have been asking on the comment section is where is marvelous kelechi acha for everybody's been asking where it's marvelous first and foremost marvelous is well and healthy i, I just feel there's nothing to hide from you guys because you guys are our subscribers you've been with us from day one some of you joined us in the middle of when kiruta began to grow and people began to know more about kiruta but unfortunately uh, marvelous and i had a little misunderstanding which i we, we both came to a mature agreement that you know for now let us work separately on our own and marvelous felt he wanted to do all the project and he, he is entitled to do other project at the end of the whole day one thing i want to point out is that i still want to work with kelechi any day anytime kiwi talk is always open but for now kiwi talk has been divided kiwi talk is kiwi talk canada and kiwi talk nigeria kiwi talk nigeria has been on a hold for over i'll uh, say two months now um we, in which that we don't have nobody in nigeria who is representing us so what i decided to do on my own was to work with most angels that are in nigeria and i'm happy to say i've been working with happiest ones and they have been very cooperative we did uh an event last month when i was here we did an event which was end homophobia uh campaign and there is a lot of things i want to show you guys from that clip it was a very interesting uh event we had victor wonder victor wonder I don't know how to say thank you to Victor Wonder, but Victor Wonder has been so amazing when it comes to activism. His activism is one activism I admire, not because like we are close or he's my friend or something, but because like I see the transparency, I see the love and I see the sincerity in his activism. When it comes to finance in financial transitions, I see how transparency is. When it comes to caring and you know pushing for the safety of the community, he's always there. Even when you know he has has nothing to benefit from you know pushing and supporting this community victor wonder has been there i want to say big thanks to victor wonder i also want to say big thanks to happiest ones F, happiest ones happiest ones in, in initiative they were amazing they came forward for the community they spoke you know and to all the survivors that told their story from the first to the last survivor to even the house of rainbow house of rainbow was there for the nigerian lgbtq community and reverend gd mccullin had a lot to say i'll just allow you guys to watch some few clips and once you're back from this clip we'll have more conversation on social media as soon as i can but people often accuse me of sitting in the comfort of england and you know, and and being able to speak. To be quite honest, if I if I was not in England, I probably would not have had the F ability to speak as much as I do. But I do anyway because it is important that people know that LGBT people in Nigeria are valid. We have rights as well. But you see, I don't just speak out of the comfort of England. Many of you will know I I grew up in Nigeria and I've also lived in Nigeria. I have evidence of my home being completely vandalized and I literally just escaped with my own life. So sometimes we just have to find another way of, you know, uh, of, of fighting this battle and it's not over, you know, 
And the one thing I also say to all of us is that if we're able to find ourselves outside of Nigeria, it doesn't make us any less Nigerian. You understand me? So please don't feel that you need to change your identity or your nationality when you leave Nigeria, that it doesn't work like that. But, but the most important thing I've always said is that all those platforms, whether it's Granda, um, Jack, uh, Planet Romeo, or whatever it's called, you know, if those spaces are created for gay men, we only expect gay men to be on those platforms looking for whatever it is that we're looking for on those platforms. If you are then on those platforms and then you are, you know, you know, causing, uh, you, are, you are committing a crime, then, you know, we should challenge that. We should fight for that. So welcome viewers, you've seen all the clips. Like I said earlier, those activists are activists, not these activists rather, our activists have been working, our activists have been trying to keep our community safe. And I can tell you that since we held that event and since people have been listening from our different channel, there have not been one case of keto crisis that I know of. I haven't seen any video of keto or the keto somebody com the community has been listening the community has been taking safety as priority and we should continue to stake safety as priority now on the second question most people have been asking is you know what's up with you and jp crime fighter yes jp crime fighter and i we've been having backlash we've been having a very bad backlash and i want to make this very clear jp crime fighter and i we are not enemies but i do not agree with most things jp crime fighter do jp crime fighter i have evidence or rather qb talk have evidence to say jp crime fighter has been bullying a lot of community members and jp crime fighter was one of the reasons that hillary uh, uh uh i've forgotten his last name but hillary uh bangidi committed suicide and when that happened i had to address it somebody has to address it you sitting down behind your cameras or behind your computer right i'm sitting out behind your keyboards and trolling people and writing things that are not true about people is is degrading is is shameful and is denting our community first and foremost jp crime fighter talked about how i was talking to him about my hiv status and how i was trying to console him i did a test on march of this year and i'm hiv negative i still am hiv negative taking the precaution that i have to take I have never in one day had any conversation with JP Crime Fighter concerning HIV status. He talked about starting an NGO. He talked about how he wants to continue doing the things he did. And I felt the things he was doing were amazing. But I began to see glitches when it comes to JP Crime Fighter's activism. I began to see errors in JP Crime Fighter's activism. JP Crime Fighter in 2019 had asked me to come preach on his platform against Kitoris. And I began to ask God if I should go on his platform to preach. And I I never honestly before God and man I never got a response in my spirit to go on his platform to preach and then on the year 2020 that was when Kelechi wanted to you know marvelous wanted to start Q talk and God dropped it in my spirit to start Q talk with him which I did which I obliged and I joined Kelechi and JP crime fighter became angry that instead of coming to JP crime fighter and working with him he felt or he feels that Q talk should have been JP crime fighter he feels that Kelechi took from him someone who would have been more resourceful to him I know it's painful but at the same time transparency is one thing I look at when I'm working with people transparency in terms of are you genuinely doing something do you do it because you honestly love it or are you doing it for monetary basis second thing second thing I check in when I'm working with people is that I look for at how you deal with the less privileged I look at how you deal with common people who have nobody to speak to them I look at how you treat people who you look down 
down on they are very important thing when you look down on everybody looks down on somebody but how you treat people who you look down on matters a lot do you treat them with love do you uh, uh, do you treat them in love when you are in error do you come back and up uh, for me oh, if i'm in error if i've done something bad i'll always come and i apologize when i know the truth or when i'm at fault that is one thing about me i will always apologize i'm sorry will always be in my lip when i need to be sorry but one thing i will never do is saying i'm sorry because i'm being blackmailed or being saying i'm sorry for bribe i don't so those were the things i looked at and i didn't want to work with jp cry fact i just wanted to clear this up and JP Firefighter went ahead to write things about me to the extent he wrote an article of how I slept with my father. This article is one article that really, really angered my spirit and I made a couple of reaction songs. Obviously, I'm a creator. I, I had to sing, I had to respond, I had to respond and I will still respond to JP Firefighter. I'm sorry most people may not feel it's professional or it's classy but one thing is when you come for my family you come for the whole of me writing that I slept with my dad knowing that we have never had any conversation neither have I ever said such a neither has ever such a thing happen it is a taboo in Igbo land and you constantly wrote not knowing who the family tree that I'm coming from not knowing my mother is a barrister my younger brother is about to be a barrister. My grandfather was his royal highness. I'm not going to mention name just because I like to keep my family out. The, his royal highness, second in command from our place. So if I decide to summon JP crime fighter, according to the custom of the land I am from, JP crime fighter must answer. Yes, I'm a Christian, but at the same time, my grandfather, my mother's father was his royal highness we have traditions and you do not insult royalty you don't install a trad you not even a traditional family you don't insult a royal highness you don't also insult a titled man in Ibo land on a you don't do such it is it a taboo so on this note knowing all these things i have decided to allow things be so this is just an update on how we are moving forward and your questions and answers. At the end of the whole day, the third thing I want to talk about is we are, or honestly, I'm looking for volunteers because I want Kiru Talk to provide jobs for our community. I want Kiru Talk to improve power our community kiwi talk was built to speak out for the community not just speaking out but also to empower this community and one way i can do all these things by myself for oh, let's be real i can do the edit i do the editing i do the filming i do the recording i do the i do everything by myself but it will be more fun if i have community members like you and i watching me from the end of the other stream to work with me for a common goal to work with us to work with ng to empower our community to build an everlasting resource because at the end of the whole day when we go to these hospitals that are not quite friendly when we go to these places this environment these libraries this you know 
uh, what is it called hostels or hotels that are not quite friendly we feel left out but when we have people like you and i empowering our community building our community up building resources to empower our community things we i know you know it may seems like it is just chimerese and marvelous you know thing but when we come together to build Kiru Talk, to build our community, to build our community members, so also to build our community members, then we'll become richer in all we do. So this is just a little update. We'll, we'll be bringing back our website. Our website has been down for a couple of months. Our website is down, but please don't forget, write to us at QRootTalkNG at gmail.com. Our email isn't going to change. It's still going to remain QRootTalkNG at gmail.com. We have received all the emails concerning JP Crime Fighter and his Black Mini. We have also received emails concerning things that are going on in the community. Like I earlier said, I have been down, but now, ah, 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 we are back. So now that I'm back, let us get down to business. So thank you, thank you, thank you. This is just an update. Please make sure, tell people, Curio Talk, we are back. We are fully ready to serve our community. Peace out.